Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Devin Haney looks ripped and ready to go for his step up challenge this Friday on Showtime. Stay tuned. This was a crazy day. I was so focused on him. I didn't take my eyes off of him. He wanted to get some work with the younger guys to push him. I was just thinking like, Maybe I can get some rounds with him. Nerves was jumping. It felt like I was there before, like I've done it before. A lot of people was telling Floyd after, it was like a mirror. It was like you fighting yourself, just a younger version. I learned so much. One thing that he told me was I'm gonna be all right in that. I got a big future. I'm blessed that he gave me the opportunity. I'm gonna be the next Mayweather. Sometimes I come out here and I look, and sometimes I even pray, you know, one day I become the king of this place. When I fought at the MGM, it was crazy. Like, seeing myself on the big screen, I can't wait to fight there again. One time when Floyd fought, all the streets was all packed and everything. I said, you know what, one day that's going to be me. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, Devin Haney is about to headline in Philly. Shout out to Philly. On Showbox this Friday, Showtime Sports, they have a, on their boxing channel on YouTube, Showtime Boxing. I'll try to link in the description. They have a short talking to Devin Haney as he gears up for that. He's taking Mason Menard, who's a veteran, fought Ray Beltran in a 10-round lightweight contest. And Ego Weight Watchers, where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before or after progress pictures, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Devin Haney looks in shape. He looks ripped. He looks ready to go. And he looks like he's coming into his man strength. He turned pro when he was 17, I believe. And now... Like, I've seen Devin Haney when he was younger. I watched him spar and stuff like that. Shout out to the Haney's. And I'm starting to see it where Devin Haney is actually coming into kind of his, his man strength. He looks bigger. He looks a little bit wider. Still able to make the weight and stuff. So it's going to be interesting watching this journey of this young man and where he goes from here. All the skills in the world. He has a great team. His pops. Um, Floyd Sr., and he's he's open. I believe he's a free agent, so he's worked on a top rank card. He's I think done Roy Jones Jr. cards, different things like that. Now he's going to be on Showtime, so he's not bound by anything. And the sky's the limit. On the Showtime special, he says he has a mini Mayweather type of lifestyle. He's always dreamt of this moment. He talks about sparring with Floyd Mayweather and what that experience was like. I asked him about that, the video and interviews on the channel. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what this kid has at the higher level. And this is a step up challenge. We just seen Ryan Garcia, who took his step, step up challenge against um, Jason Velez. There was a mixed review from it. Ryan Garcia thinks there's certain things he could improve on in terms of roughhousing. Ryan Garcia is another up-and-comer who sparred Devin Haney, or excuse me, fought Devin Haney in the amateurs probably five or six times, and that would be a good future fight. So th there's a lot of ways you can mix and match it. I'm definitely taking notice to the up-and-comers in the divisions as they come through the rankings, so I'll, I'll be tuned in to Devin Haney's fight. Shakur Stevenson when he fights Mick Connellan, Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, uh, Richardson Hitchens. I want to see all these guys and I want to see what they're really made of. So tune in this Friday, Showtime Showbox. This should be a good fight. And I was actually live when Ray Beltran fought Menard. I was at that fight. It was on a Terrence Crawford card and I was out there in, um, I believe it was Omaha when he fought John Molina. And I seen Mason Menard. He has power. He has like maybe two losses at this point. So it should be a good a good matchup. I'm looking forward to it and I want to see what Devin Haney has. He's very like full of confidence and he's been doing this. We'll see what he brings to the table. Ego Weight Watchers, drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.